Greetings viewers, welcome back to the Car Doctor channel. I'm Tim, I appreciate you stopping by. Hey, I have to apologize, I am sorry that I haven't been around lately. I've been gone fishing. So, I thought I'd make a quick video and let you know things are okay. I'm sorry I haven't been around, but I'm well and I'm having a good time. I'm getting a little sun, catching a couple fish. Hoping to get a few more soon here. But in the meantime, wanted to check in. I thought that it'd be cool to show you our summer digs. So we own a commercial fishing operation that we basically run during the summer months here in Alaska. And uh, so the shop's just back in town taking care of itself. Well, we're here on a semi more remote area of Alaska. It's on the Kenai Peninsula. We're in a place called Clam Gulch, Alaska, which is on the shores of Cook Inlet. And uh, you can see behind me, there's some volcanic mountains, Redoubt and Iliamna, and uh, making up the Alaska Range, which extends out to the Aleutian Chain. And it's a cool place to hang out. My, me and my family have been doing this here for over 50 years, over four generations of us. And we just love to come down here. It's cool to unwind and uh, do something different for a while and just get out of the city, you know, uh, clear my head. And that helps me when I get back to the shop. I'm not so grumpy. Not quite as grumpy as I would be. I'm still grumpy sometimes. But anyway, I thought it'd be cool to show you my trailer here, uh, which is my main trailer. And we call it the Rookery there, because we'll play a lot of Rook, which is a card game. And it just seemed like it fit. But before I take you in there, I'll just kind of give you a little basic overview of my camp here. Got a couple more trailers down there. And uh, my brother's back down the beach behind me there. Uh, Got a lot of vehicles around here, a lot of four by trucks to help us do our operation, deliver fish and whatnot. They get, tend to get rusty down here when we're, some trucks are used to go out in the salt water. There's my boat on a special trailer that we can lift it up and lower it out into the inlet, pick it up off the mud flats when the tide goes out. But pretty, pretty cool place to be. We're actually catching uh, for the most part, red salmon that are running up to uh, Kenai River and the Kasilof River. They're very sustainable runs and they're managed well for a sustained fishery that's been uh, healthy and working good for years now. Hey, anyway, I'll take you over to my most recent trailer, which I built here. Probably, I think it's three years old maybe two years. I built this two years ago and this is my gear shed. And so the purpose of the gear shed is to hang my gear. It also has a, a bunk house up here where I can fit a couple crew members or visitors. And the cool part about hanging gear back here is I've got that greenhouse material on that side of the roof and on this side of the the gear area and it just gets super hot it's about 100 degrees in here right now so we've been out fishing today and we hang our gear up and uh, dries out quickly so that's what you want when you're fishing almost every day of the week you want to keep your gear dry so you get up in the morning to go out set nets at 4 a.m you don't want to put wet gear on and uh added a little uh sleeping area up here there's a couple bunks i've got it uh, covered with my camera gear and stuff in here now, but we cleaned it out if any guests come Thinking of doing like a dude branch fish dude fishing Operation someday where people pay for a package to come hang out in Alaska run our Fishing operation and pick our nets for us Seems like a cool deal. I could charge people to come pick my fish out of my net That would be cool so anyway, uh, and then, here, so here's my main trailer, the rookery uh, that I wanted to show you. Here's the front of it, which is basically the back of the trailer, really. But it's a real site-specific build. So it always sits in the same place, in the same orientation. 
I've got solar panels up here that are always facing out and collect the sun here in the in the uh, early morning, early afternoon, and they charge the batteries plenty well. We've got a couple deep cycle, you know, batteries in here, and I also keep my 200 pound propane bottles. I've got a water filtration system, and I've got a on-demand hot water heater all in here in this utility room. It is vented but it probably wouldn't be advisable to build uh, to build a trailer this way since you don't want to really mix propane and uh, stored propane and, and ignition source but it's worked for me so far we're still alive we're waving old glory out here with our salmon flag so we're all set up in that regard and I put vinyl siding on here, which holds up pretty well. This trailer's 10 years old. I've made uh, some modifications. I've, I've upgraded the windows. It had some old win wood casement windows that were leaking. And I added these little eaves over, little awnings over the windows to prevent water from coming in, especially when the screens are, when the windows are open and the wind's blowing in from the inlet. So that's helped a bit. Um, and then uh, something else I want to show you is we found that one of the sources of moisture in trailers can be the shower. So in this case, we put the shower outside. So I have these awnings that fold out. And uh, over here, I've just got a shower enclosure leaned up against the trailer. And I've just plumbed the shower and the controls come outside of the shower. So when we get set up and pop up this awning, I just screw my uh, shower nozzle on and lean my enclosure up and, uh, and just add this little dressing room and we're good to go there. I've also got a little awning over the front entry as well. Um, we do have to level these up a little bit, put some uh, you know logs under them and whatnot because it is an uneven surface when we bring them here there's no improvements down here if you left your trailer here over the winter it would just be washed out to sea when you came back for it so uh, anyway we got a dining area up front and uh, come in here a little bit and we've got a propane operated pretty much full-size fridge and freezer and then uh, full-size stove even with some stew cooking and prep area over there food storage and we've got a little uh, bedroom back here and a shotgun and we have the best view in town you cannot beat that so anyway thought I'd just touch it touch base with you guys check in let you know all is well we're looking forward to getting back to the shop, but we're going to wait a few weeks because we can use a little more sun. Uh, the Alaskans, uh, for the most part, we have this weird farmer suntan where our legs and, and forearms get tan, and we get these raccoon eyes from our sunglasses. And it generally fades by the end of August because winter's coming and we don't get to see any more sun. So unless we unless we go to Hawaii for Christmas. All right. Well, hey, I hope you guys this summer is going well, and uh, I wish you a good July. What's what's left of it? And I will look forward to seeing you soon. And you take care. All right. See you.